lazy day makeup. That's what we're doing today. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm gonna to show you how I get these two eyeshadow looks using the MAC Connectin 4 Embedded in Burgundy palette. I'm also continuing to test out the Revlon Illuminance or Illuminance. It might be Illuminance. I'm adding a French twist to it. I'll go through that with you. I'm using the Fenty Beauty concealer again, but I also am testing out the brightener, so you'll see that in action. I think that's about it. If you're new here, my name is Julie Meikle. I'm 52 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist. I dip into fashion a little bit, and I'm really happy to have you here. I'm finding a community of wonderful women here, and I'd love for you to join us. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. The products that I use today are affiliate links. They're gonna be listed in the description box for you. No pressure to use them, but if you're gonna buy it, then it does help me out. But no pressure, I'm just so happy that you're here. I hope that you're excited to see this look and let's get going. Now that my self tan has faded a little bit, I'm gonna go back in and try this Revlon Illuminance. Why do I say Illuminance? Illuminance? <laughs> Revlon Illuminance Serum Skin Tint. And this is in number 317. I tried it the other day in a video, but I had to mix it with my Key Largo Glow from Tarte because it was the wrong shade for me. I feel like it might be better now. I really wanna give this a good shot. Yeah, that's better. Oh, much better, okay. Wow, I was really tanned because there was no way I could use this before. Let me put my hair up and begin. I got lazy with my hair today and just let it kind of air dry. I gave it a little bit of volume at the roots and then the rest is just the way it dries. I think I might apply this with my fingers. Let's see, my sunspots are always the test, but it is Sunday today, and my husband and I really aren't doing anything, so I would typically go for a light coverage anyway. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Three seventeen is a perfect match for me. Don't forget my vein. That feels really nice. It just feels like a moisturizer. If you didn't see me use this in the other video mixed with the Tarte Key Largo, um, I'll just tell you again. It's got ginger root, vitamin C, vitamin E. It is a serum tint. Provides all day hydration. It's a tinted moisturizer. That's what it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back right here. See if I can build that up a little bit. Yeah, that worked. I'm gonna cheat it right up underneath my eye. Let's see what happens. Yep, that worked too. Lazy day makeup. That's what we're doing today. Just gonna tap into this little vein as well. I'm happy. White drugstore is getting good, eh? Now, I wonder what the difference is between the two of these. This is the Skin Caring Foundation and this is the Skin Tint. Let's put them side by side. They're gonna be different colors though, I think. This one is the new one that I have on and this is the Skin Caring Foundation. Let me just rub it in a little bit. This looks more hydrating. I hope you can see that. The lights are kind of bright, but I have them to the lowest and I think that's necessary to have them on. I would say that if you don't need that hydration, like if you've got all your skincare ingredients already on and you don't feel you need more, then you would go for this one. Yeah, the skin tint feels more slick. This one's drying down better, I feel. I feel like this will stay longer than this one. I hope that helps. While that's sitting, I tested out the Fenty Beauty concealer the other day. It is beautiful, like so beautiful. I don't know that I like another one better, to be honest. I did pick up her corrector and I wanna try that. This is called Bright Fix and this is in the color Melon. I hope I got the right color. It's an interesting package. I'm going to put that right in the corner there. and in there as well. Ooh. Okay, well, that wasn't fair that I put that foundation under there because it's very slippery. I'm gonna take that off. 
We do know that it works because we could see it working, but that's not giving the Fenty a fair shot because it's mixing with the formula. So let me get that off. Let my violet pop through. <laughs> what a difference. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. That feels better. Oh, I got some of my lashes. How did I manage that? I should zoom you guys in. There, that's better. Okay. Now this means I didn't prep my skin well underneath either. Darn it. Works though. Right where that violet tone is, where my skin has become see-through, the beauties of age. I will say I like the concealer better, the texture of it better for sure. It just seemed to mesh right into my skin. I didn't have any issues. Like I, it took no effort at all. And I can almost see some, like the bumps there. It's almost like it's grabbing on the texture. I'll put a link to the other video up top in the corner. You need to see the Fenty concealer. This is good, but I like it better. Speaking of that, I'm gonna use it over top. Let's see how it layers. Let's do this one first. The other one has a thicker consistency. My skin just likes this one better. Look at how smooth that is. Like, I hope you can see that. And yesterday I used it without the corrector, so I would say you don't need the corrector, unless you love it. If you've tried it, let me know, I'd love to know. This size covering better. This is a lot of concealer. I may be making a mistake. Maybe this is just textured more. This is my bad eye. I'm excited to play with this now. I picked this up the other day and it's the Connect In 4 Color Eyeshadow. This is the Embedded in Burgundy palette. The packaging is so pretty. I never do swatches for you and I should. I have spotted 52 year old arms, so I get a little self-conscious to be honest. Isn't that funny? Starting off with Painterly Paint Pot. It is so nice that the sun is out longer. The days are getting longer. It makes such a difference with my mood. I mean, I'm in a pretty good mood anyways, but what a difference the sun makes. I'm gonna powder because I feel very hydrated. I'm gonna use the fluorasis or fluorasis. I don't know, can you see that? The white is reflecting the light. It is so finely milled. Ooh, it's so finely milled. Yeah, I just really like it. Of course, I'm having hot flash. Perfect. And I feel like I'm losing coverage there already. I didn't have that issue before. Hmm. Yeah, that's coming off. This again is my bad eye, but I am not liking my under eyes. It's okay, don't panic. <laughs> I'm gonna switch it though, I don't like it. I had such a good makeup day yesterday. I don't know, it's looking cakey or something, or it's looking like I have makeup on and it's fading at the same time. So I wanna fix that before I get in trouble. I'm just gonna take an empty brush and blend out the edges here. I'm gonna let this area dry and do my eye makeup. That way, if I have any fallout, I'll clean it up anyways. Maybe I should put a little eye cream. I'm gonna use Go Pure's Advanced Repair Eye Cream. And let that sink in until I'm done my eye makeup. I would never put anything over top of my moisturizer right away. It's just gonna do exactly what would have happened if I had put it over top of my, um, my skin tint. It would have just made it slippy slidey and ruined the whole thing. Now for the fun part, let's get into this. Let me tell you the colors. We have Faux, Naked Lunch, and Mega Mocha on my wrinkly skin. Look at that. <laughs> what a difference between a 20 year old and a 52 year old. 
You can see my age spots. We all have them probably at this age. Okay, I'm gonna go in with faux. The other day I used only this. It was so pretty. I wanna show you that actually, and then I'll build up from there. Do I have creases? I'm in trouble today. What is happening? I used it on a live stream, just playing around with no plan. And the one color was so pretty. Just the way the light reflects it, it looks like you've got a couple different colors on. Same color, going underneath. Now that I've shown you that, I'm gonna build it up. I can see what's gonna happen. This is not gonna be a Sunday afternoon hanging around the house makeup look. I just wanna play. I'm going to go in with this one, which is Mega Mocha. I'm gonna use a refer number two brush. This is pretty flat and it allows me to just pack it on and be detailed. So a little bit on my brush and I'm going on the outer corner right here. I actually have two of those brushes, so I'm going to use the other one and go into this one. Okay, now I'm gonna build that up. I'm going back in with the Mega Mocha and connecting the two. I should do a natural eye on this one. That's what I'll do. Cause I know that this is a lot for most people. Okay, and taking my fluffy brush now. I'm actually gonna take an empty brush and go along those edges. Do I have a hole right there? I can see that I need more color there, so I'm gonna go into the Mega Mocha and really make sure to grab that and blend it out to soften it up. As always, I have this little nook right there that I want to fill. A little bit of makeup remover. I'm gonna go back into faux. I might actually dip the two, these two colors, because I don't want it quite as dark as faux. And blend the edge here. I have so much fun. Now I'm gonna use my concealer and clean this area up. Once I get this nice and bright, it'll look good. I'm just gonna pat this in. That's sitting so much better. What a difference. Yeah, just a little tip. Always clean off your lash curler. 
because product gets on there, oils get on there. They'll work so much better and not stick to your lashes if they're clean. I'm gonna use the YSL Lash Clash in black, as always. I don't know how long I've had this for now. Might be getting old. I'm tempted to try it in brown because I see it looks so pretty on other people, but I think brown mascara makes me look sick. Doesn't look good on me. gooped never fails just a little close right there got it I'm gonna powder under here before I make a mess I don't think I've tried this underneath let's see how that goes that works See, once you have the mascara on, it doesn't look quite as like, whoa. The eyeshadow hides behind the lashes and it becomes, I think, a really pretty look. I don't think that's too much, but I will tame it down for the other eye. I'm gonna start off with clean brushes. This is a Refer 15. And you see how that's nice and fluffy? It's a larger brush. So when I dip it into this one, it hopefully will create a lighter effect. I'm gonna start by doing the whole lid. Little bit, I dipped that in once and look at how far that took me. Another dip and I'm gonna place it right there and then work it in. I'm gonna use the same color with a different brush and go underneath. Nice and soft. Now I'm gonna use this one, Naked Lunch. I just wanna bring this to life a little bit. It doesn't have a ton of shimmer, but it does reflect the light slightly. Perfect. Then I'm gonna take a stiff brush like this, any brush will do, and I'm gonna dip it into the darker brown, which is Mega Mocha. Tap it as close to the lash line as possible. Stretching up my lid to make sure that there's no gap in between the lashes and the line. I could wet the brush too, but I don't want to. I'm gonna cheat this up a little bit to try to give myself more of a lift. And I'm not gonna go past this point. See that crease? That's asking for trouble. So that's as far as I go. Feel like I wanna put a little bit more faux just right. Mm, should I or just keep this really natural? Maybe a touch just to give this a little bit of a lift. I think that did it. I'm gonna use the same mascara so that you can see what it looks like for a more natural look. If you don't already know, I'm having issues with this eye. It's not as clear as this one and I'm just having some health issues with it, but it's getting better, I think, I hope. Yeah, that's such a pretty mascara. OK, 
Okay, let's clean this up right there. I feel like this isn't good because when I pull it out, it gives a nice angle, but that's not how it stays. So it kind of looks uneven and kind of like a dark splooch there. I'm gonna fix that. How am I gonna fix that? I'm gonna use an eyeliner. This is a Laura Mercier pencil in cocoa. I'm actually gonna use my brush though, just so that I can be very detailed. I think I've just got to make it richer in here and a little bit thicker in there. That's my idea. We'll see if it works. Do I need a darker color? Maybe. I need maybe a richer color. I feel like that's better. Kind of. Not too worried about it, honestly. I just like showing you how I would fix little mistakes or little tweaks. I wouldn't worry about that too much. Like really who's looking that close, but you are. So I want to fix it. That little corner right there. My lashes are getting in the way. I want to take that edge off. There, I think that looks better. Hmm, I'm going to use a little bit of black. I think it needs it just a tiny bit. Same thing though, I might be sorry. Just to keep that, I don't know, cohesive. That's better. Okay, that's what it needed. I knew it needed something. It's the little things that I notice. That would really come in handy if I was working on a photo shoot. If I didn't catch those little spaces when I was working on photo shoots, it would be a big problem. So I'm very picky when it comes to that kind of thing because I found it distracting. I knew something wasn't flowing and I had to figure that out. Okay, two completely different looks. I like both. Which one do you like better? Oh, I forgot lipstick and face. Just when you think that you're gonna be fast. I am never fast. I'm gonna use my milk bronzer. I used it the other day and I really liked it. Now I'm placing that over powder, so we'll see how that goes. Does that look too warm? Which one am I using? This is baked. Maybe I should try the other one on the other side. <laughs> okay, this one will be dazed on this side. I'm lighter today, so we'll see which one we like better. I think I like this one better with this coloring. Do you notice a difference? I feel like this one works, but it's just a little, a little warm, like a little orangey compared to this one. Let me see if I can tap that out a little bit, blend it. In here, oh, I forgot about this. This is how I ruin my clothes. I'm gonna take an empty brush just along the edges, making sure that that's all seamless. Let's get some lipstick on now. I'm gonna try Velvet Teddy with no lip liner. I just wanna see what it looks like. This is in the new formulation. I don't know why I thought Velvet Teddy was lighter. I'm gonna use the My Mini Dream Glow Blush and I'm gonna stick mostly into here and with a touch of that. <laughs> Not a lot of shine. I love this blush. Soft, pretty, elegant. That's nice. And it's like it automatically diffuses itself. I don't ever feel like I have to blend this out. 
kind of like the hourglass blushes. I'm gonna touch up my lips. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills in Rosewood. I wanna clean it up a little bit. I feel better about that. Let me know if you learned anything in the comments. That's always helpful to me. And what you wanna see next. If you have any questions, I'll always try my best to answer them. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share with all your friends, and I will see you later. Bye.